Good evening and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jaeger262 and I'm doing a, another black market video. And this one's a little bit odd. Not something that is surprising, of course, as part of that list from Reddit. There was a slot slate um, for legendary camouflages to be sold. I didn't really know what that meant, but it turns out they are 3D styles, four 3D styles for the IS-7, the Grill-15, the Bat Chantillon 25T and the T57 Heavy Tank. These are of course the 3D styles that were first unveiled at Christmas and are part of the Christmas missions. I personally have the IS-7 one, but since I have no tier 10s, this is an easy pass for me. I have zero tier 10 vehicles and so this doesn't apply to me. And I don't really know if it'll apply to anybody else out there. Um, but I'm going to be honest, since I've been on, I haven't really seen the numbers moving that much. It looks like people are buying the Grill 15 one more than all the others. Uh, it's just odd. It was just, I didn't know what they were going to do with the legendary camouflages. I didn't know what that meant, but um, in the looks of it, it's just these four. I just assumed it was going to be maybe a special camouflage for any tier 10 vehicle. I don't know if anybody has the 3D skins. I mean, I've seen the one on the IS-7, even though I don't own it, so I know what it looks like. Um, let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. I'm interested to see if this is actually the kind of content people want to see more of in World of Tanks. If this is actually interesting to you guys, I personally think it's aesthetically pleasing. I mean, I kind of liked how the IS-7 looked, but I don't really get it like I wouldn't pay 3500 gold for any of these personally I, I don't know obviously some people like the grill one a lot and it could just be could just be me but I think this might be a miss for the black market only time will tell but it looks like only the grill is really selling Ow, no there goes the bat chance on so maybe I'm wrong yeah the IS-7 sold one so yeah it's starting to pick up sales are starting to pick up right now as I'm talking it just seems kind of odd I expected something a little bit bigger for this evening but I guess it's just on a court I mean I don't know because obviously we don't have the actual slated dates for this stuff so I think it's just being on schedule, but I'm a, what I mean by that is I think this was supposed to be for this morning, and so we would open the day with skins and then end the day with one of the other high tier vehicles, still waiting on the fuck. But uh, because we had the T-34B go back on sale this morning, this was pushed back and so everything else will get pushed back. It just seems like a weird weird way to end the day and that doesn't really make any sense because they've been doing it at random throughout the event but the pattern that I've seen that I was trying to like allude to in the Death Star video is that the higher or more rare tanks the ones that are wanted more are usually the ones they put up at 8 p.m. and so if you're saving up for tanks if you have one you really want to see I would wait till the 8 p.m. auction however like with the Alpine Tiger or the Hydra, which was personally one that I really wanted. And one of the one of the other ones, maybe the Panzer 4.5, I don't remember, were sold in the morning. So it really just depends, I guess, on what you think or what you consider is more valuable. But for me, I was looking at this black market as just kind of more valuable ones are at night and more interesting ones, but maybe not ones that were needed per se we're during the day like the hydra is really cool but if you don't want to spend 6.5 million credits on the tier 5 don't do it whereas I think that evening was either the Panzer 5-4 or the Panzer 2J both for gold which are incredible tanks so I'm just guessing that the T-34 sale pushed this to this time slot it just um again personally for me not not what I expected, just kind of weird. I would really love to talk more about this stuff in the comment section below. I 
don't know if any of my new subscribers, any of my new World of Tank viewers know about my Armored Warfare videos, but I do cover Armored Warfare quite a bit. It's actually what I started covering on YouTube originally, and this is a trend that just started in Armored Warfare as well. After World of Tanks, it was actually closer to February-ish, they released their first 3D styles. They sell them for about $10 a style which I don't know what the actual cost of gold in World of Tanks is, if that's comparable. I doubt you can get 3500 gold for $10, but I don't know, because I haven't checked in a while. But they sell them separately, again, just not just for tier 10s, but for random tanks throughout the game that they just pick and choose. And they've seen some success with it. I've seen a lot of them on the battlefield. I don't have any of it, so it's, again, it's not a concept I particularly get 3D styles instead of customizable camouflages but it seems to be a trend or a beginning trend it hasn't caught on, caught on a lot at least not in World of Tanks I haven't seen any 3D camouflage in World of Tanks but I rarely see tier 10s so if you have tier 10s and you see this a lot or if you have one of these or if you're gonna buy all of them please talk about it in the comment section below I really wanna know your thoughts on it if you play Armored Warfare at all and you've seen the Armored Warfare ones in that game and now you're looking at these in this game like I am let me know what you think if you think 3D styles are more dynamic or more interesting to you that you would rather spend money on say not just a camouflage but you're actually getting a new 3D model essentially for your vehicle and if that appeals to you uh, I want to I don't know if I can preview any of these because I don't own the vehicle no, I can't. You can kind of see them, but not really. The T-57 was my personal favorite out of the ones released. I didn't actually end up seeing the uh, grill one for Christmas. So if it wasn't actually available for Christmas, my mistake. But the other three... These three I've seen, and this one I have. This one's cool, it has a 20mm anti-aircraft gun on top. Like, random, just stuff around it, like grenade launchers and stuff. The Hellhound for the Type 57 was my personal favorite, but don't have that vehicle. And it was just a Vietnam style. The rest, I'm not really sure what they are. But they do, again, make your tank look cooler, in a, more so than just camouflages because again it is a 3d model but that's all i got to say about this uh it just seems like a weird trend it was like a weird new thing that i saw these games doing and they both did it way way after war thunder started doing their physical 3d model stuff which wasn't skins it was actually like you can buy bushes and masks or like event stuff like hats or jack-o-lanterns for all the halloween event that they did and you put them on the tank and they're actual 3D things, and they have their own physics on the tank, they're their own models. And so after that came the one in Armored Warfare and the one in World of Tanks. So if you play War Thunder, which I used to play, but not anymore, so I don't cover that on YouTube. But if you play that, and you really like how they're doing their 3D stuff, and you'd like to see that in World of Tanks. If you enjoy these four skins, and you want to see more of them in the game, and not just at Tier 10, but for all tiers, maybe at least for specific premium vehicles. Or if you're like me and you're in Armored Warfare and you've already seen 3D skins for all different kinds of vehicles and all different types. And what I mean by that is these are semi-historical. They're trying to look more realistic and World of Tanks. In that game, it's you got futuristic skins. You have these really weird Mad Max tanks. It's kind of like World of Tanks console. So if you're from any other game than World of Tanks and you're watching these videos. Or if you play on the console and you have the mercenary tanks discuss it in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think about 3D skins. I get the appeal. It's just not for me personally, but if you really enjoy it, please let me know. I'd love to discuss it. As always, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you for the support. Thank you for talking with me in the comments. Thank you all for subscribing, for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. I know I say that every video, but it's just really great to interact with this community. And so, like always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.